Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a complete print on demand tutorial. Now this video is going to cover everything that I personally do, and it's literally going to take you from idea of wanting to start print on demand to getting your first sales and cover everything in between step by step. Now throughout this video, I will explain things here on camera, but also I will put you on screen recording so you can follow along step by step on your own computer. Now, lastly, before we switch over to the computer here and get started, I just wanna say that this is going to be a longer video. There is a ton of information for me to cover in this video, so it is going to move at a quick pace. And I really hope that you take advantage of this. This literally could be a full course. And as you guys know, I'm just giving it to you for free on YouTube. It has all of these special tools, artificial intelligence, everything that I have learned to use is all going to be spelled out in this video. So all I ask is if you do enjoy this video, please just give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments. So without further ado, let's switch over to the computer and get started in this video. So the very first thing to cover here is what is print on demand exactly? What is the business model? Just so we are on the same page as we go through this tutorial. So essentially what the print on demand business model is, is you create t-shirt designs, you upload them to a couple different print on demand websites, and then people can come to those websites, they can find those designs on t-shirts or hoodies or other apparel, and they can actually purchase your design printed on those items but the whole kicker here is that that specific item that they ordered will be printed and it will be shipped and all the customer service will be handled by the print on demand website themselves. So us as the print on demand seller, we are only responsible for creating those t-shirt designs and uploading them to the print on demand websites. So to show you exactly what this looks like, let's come over to Amazon, which if you didn't know is actually the largest print on demand website out there. Not many people know that you can do print on demand on Amazon, but to show you what this looks like, if you type in a type of t-shirt, this is camping t-shirt, and you scroll through the results, you'll see a bunch of these different t-shirts available, and any of these listings that say Amazon merch on demand, they are actually people who have only uploaded the design and then Amazon is doing the rest for them. Amazon is creating this listing to show what it would look like. When anyone orders this item, Amazon's going to print it, ship it, take care of all of the customer service, but you would never know that just scrolling through here. Now, something I will say is that some of these, something like this, it does not have the Amazon merch on demand label on it. This could actually be a person that is selling on Amazon where they print the items themselves, they ship it out themselves. So that is mixed in here, but the people taking advantage of the print on demand business model, they will all be labeled with Amazon merch on demand. So to show you what this looks like, if we click in on one of these items here, the listing is going to show up exactly like any other product that is on Amazon. You can see what the product looks like. You can actually change the color of what that would be. And the reason that you can change the color is because none of these are actually printed yet. So once you place an order in a specific color, and then you come down, you pick what kind of shirt you want that printed on, and you pick your size, you can actually just add that to your cart. You can buy it now, and it ships just like any other product from Amazon. Now, with that being said, if you do everything correctly in print on demand, you literally just have to upload your designs, and then you sit back and collect your paycheck. That is literally it. You don't even need any internet connection for this to happen because all of the traffic is coming to the websites that I'm going to show you automatically on their own. So you don't have to do any advertising or anything like that. Now saying this out loud starts to make it sound like it's too good to be true, but I've literally been doing this business model for almost 10 years now. And I'm just trying to give back with these tutorials and create the things that I wish I had when I was starting out. So I really hope that you guys put this into action. Trust me when I say there is plenty to go around in this business model. Now, a couple important things before we move on from here, just to tie all of this together. Amazon is the largest print on demand website out there, but they are not the only print on demand website out there. What many people don't know is that when you create a design, something like this, and you upload it to Amazon to be sold on Merch by Amazon, you can also upload that exact same design with the exact same title and description to other print on demand websites at the same time. This means you are going to get organic traffic and sales from not only Amazon, but the other websites that I'll show you in this tutorial as well. Now, what's going to be really cool is that I've been selling on many different print on demand websites over the years, and I figured out which ones sell the best. And those are the ones that I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial, just so you're not wasting your time with other print on demand websites out there that don't actually get many sales. 
And then the very last thing before we keep going here is that there's actually two different types of print on demand. There is passive print on demand, which I've just showed you here. This is basically you upload the designs, the websites do everything for you, and you just collect your paychecks. And then the other way is active print on demand. This is where you are creating your own website. You're uploading your own print on demand designs and creating your own listings. And then every time you get an order, you can actually send that order to a print on demand fulfiller. They will ship it out for you. So you don't have to do any of the printing, but you are still responsible to drive your own traffic, bring your own buyers. And most importantly, you have to still do your own customer service. When you do this passive route here, all the customer service and everything is done for you. So needless to say, I can definitely tell you over the years, the passive route is so much more enjoyable. And that is what this entire tutorial is going to be based on. Okay, so let's move right along in this tutorial and start to get into the fun stuff. So the very first thing is that when you are creating designs for print on demand, you can create those designs and sell them in any niche or any topic that you want. The only important thing to know here is that you need to avoid copyrighted or trademarked things. These are most commonly going to be movie quotes, song lyrics, or company logos, company names, or company phrases. As long as you are avoiding those things, you can create your designs on anything else. So to give you a perfect example of this, something like this design that we just saw, or even going back and looking at these other ones, these are all great ideas. This is kind of the sweet spot for print on demand. You're creating designs that someone would want to buy for themselves or buy as a gift for someone else that's interested in that topic for this example, camping. So for you getting started in print on demand today, what I would recommend for you to do is to think about what are your hobbies or what are your passions? What are things that you know a lot about or you care about? That's going to keep this engaging. It's going to keep it very interesting and fun for you to get into print on demand. So once you roughly have that idea in your mind, and remember, you can change this niche down the road as many times as you want to, then I would come over to Etsy.com. Now, although we are not going to actually be using Etsy for print on demand, we're not going to sell on there. I have used Etsy for years previously to come up with ideas of what kind of designs I want to create and sell. So type in your niche and then t-shirt and then just scroll through here. Now we're not looking for anything to directly rip off and just copy, but we're just looking for ideas to get our brain going here so that we can use that as inspiration for our designs. So as you scroll through here, you can see camping because therapy is expensive. That's just a funny shirt for camping. You've got camping crew. As you keep scrolling through, you're just going to see more ideas here. Now, something that I have learned, and this is going to be the first kind of special tool or strategy for you to use, is that scrolling through here, yes, it gets your brain going, but it's not going to tell you exactly what kind of designs to create within this overall niche that are likely to sell well. That's where I've learned to use tools where it gives you kind of insider information on what gaps there are within camping that are actually going to sell really well. So now that you've seen kind of a backup way to come up with ideas and get some inspiration here, now let me show you how I currently do it. So this is a tool called Merch Informer. If you have seen my other print on demand tutorials, you will see that I use this quite a bit. I'm going to show you a few different ways that I use this specific tool throughout this tutorial. And I will say that this is a paid tool. So the pricing here, is about $9.99 a month or $20 a month. You only need the newbie plan to do this. And I've actually been using them for so long that I have a coupon code that I can share with you guys. I'll put it down in the description, but it gives you 20% off of either of these plans. So it should bring it down to about $8 per month. Now what's nice about this tool also is they have a three day free trial. So you can actually use the tool totally for free for three days. So you can do this whole tutorial without having to pay anything. So with that being said, let me get logged in here and then I'll show you how to use it. Okay. So so once you are logged into Merch Informer, we're going to come to the left side where all of these really expand into other print on demand tools that you can use. Specifically, what we are looking for at this stage is to go to keyword research and then keyword finder. Now, this is the beauty of using a tool like this. Literally, you just come up here and you type in what the niche is that you had the idea of, and then you click search. And then literally in a couple seconds, it's going to break down that entire overall niche and show you where the gaps are, where other people are not selling designs in. Now, when you hear camping overall, you might just think to create general camping designs. But as you're scrolling through here, we're looking on the left side. This is going to tell you what kind of that sub niche is. And then we're looking at competition and we're just looking for the green ones. That means that it's low competition specifically on that sub niche. Now I'll show you some examples. I'll scroll through this entire thing and pick a couple out here. We will use them for this tutorial. But the super important thing to know here is that as print on demand starts to get more popular, those big overall niches like camping, golf, yoga, those are all going to start to get full and more competitive. 
However, by having a tool like this, this is literally your secret weapon to go in and find what are all of those sub niches within the overall niche that everyone else doesn't know about and people haven't thought to create designs in yet. So literally by scrolling through here, you can skip over everything that is red and we're just going to scroll down and look for the ones that are green, camping fun, camping friends. Now all of these are going to make a lot of sense right off the bat, camping is. You could fill in the blank there, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for, and I will show you exactly when I find them here. Okay, here's a bunch of green. Camping women, perfect. Apparently there are a lot of camping designs, but they are made for men. You wouldn't think to do that extra search to find out that there are not many designs created for women. That is exactly what I'm talking about with this research. And then you've got more here. We've got camper camping. So actually camping in a travel camper, not actually setting up a tent. Beer camping, family camping, camping adventures. So literally family camping, beer camping, camper camping, and camping women. Just like that, I've literally found four sub niches or low competition gaps within camping. If you go into print on demand on the websites I'm about to show you and you create designs in these sub niches, you are going to be one of the few sellers and inevitably you are going to get sales because you're one of the only few to pick from. You're not uploading into a very crowded market. So once you've got this first sub niche picked out, we will start with camping women and I'll show you how to do this. And then once you've made designs in these, you can literally come back and you can start doing all of these other ones and filling them as well. So this is the next tool that I use in this process. It is called chat GPT. It is a totally free artificial intelligence tool that you can use. The website to get to it is chat.openai.com. And by the way, I will put links to all of this down in the description. So you don't have to memorize any of this. All the links will be waiting for you. However, at the moment while I'm making this video, this tool is still totally free to use. You just have to create an account and you can use it. I will say though, there have been rumors about big tech companies purchasing this software and putting it behind a paywall so you can't use it for free. So all I'm trying to say is if you can still use this tool, definitely use it for this part of the process. So what ChatGPT does is you basically come in and you can write a message. It's basically like you are asking a question to Google, except it's basically an artificial intelligence virtual assistant. So whatever you ask it, it's going to generate an answer and give it back to you written with artificial intelligence. Now, what I use this for in my print on demand process is asking it to brainstorm ideas for me or slogans that I can put on t-shirt designs. So now that we have the idea of women's camping t-shirts, now let's go over here and and I'm going to say, write me 10 funny women's camping t-shirt ideas. You don't have to put funny in here. You could put in something different or funny. I just find for print on demand, a lot of people are purchasing these shirts as gifts. So having funny designs in really any niche is only going to help you. So then you just hit enter or you hit go. And it's literally going to start writing these ideas for you. Now, just like that, we literally have 10 ideas that we can use for print on demand. And some of these are great. So camp hair, don't care. That I imagine would make a great shirt. Hiking is just walking where it's okay to pee. My favorite camping accessory, s'more wine, please. These are great ideas for print on demand t-shirts. And literally you can change this from 10 to 20 or 30 and they'll just create you a longer list. You can even do regenerate and it will rewrite the list for you. And it's just going to give you similar results or slightly different results. It'll ask you, was this better or worse? This is artificial intelligence saying, how can I make you happy? Did I do better this time? Do you want it to be slightly different? And then you can go back and forth on the results that it's written for you. And you can even prompt it to do other things. So make these shorter if you want them to be shorter phrases instead of longer ones. And it's just going to regenerate these for you. As I'm looking through these, there's literally so many good designs that you can create here that are just hilarious t-shirts designs. So this is my new and improved process for finding these t-shirt design ideas. The first part being so important of finding that sub niche. The second part is using AI to come up with the ideas instead of Etsy. However, there's one big catch to using ChatGPT, and that's that it's not going to tell us which ones of these are copyright or trademark protected. Remember in the beginning, we briefly talked about movie quotes, song lyrics, or company names, logos, or phrases. Those are the most common things that you cannot use for print on demand. However, things like phrases like these can also be protected by people or companies. So the next part of this process is definitely the most serious and the only real part that you have to do for print on demand is making sure that all of these are the ones that you want to use at least are not protected by other people. If you just use these the way they are and you go create your design and upload them to print on demand websites, the people that own these can flag yours as a copyright or trademark infringement. And if your account on that website gets too many of these flags, your whole account gets taken down. 
So just spend a minute here, make sure that you are protected free and clear before you use these. And I'll show you how to do that. So the way to do this is you take the ones that you want to use from here and just exclude the quotation mark. So I'm just going to take this first one, command C, or you can right click and you can copy that and then go back over to Merch Informer. And they actually have another tool that we can use for this. You go to Trademarks and you go to Trademark Alerts. And this is literally a tool that we can just Command V or we can right click Paste and you can start putting all of these in here and search them all to see if they are protected or not. So I'm going to hit Enter, come down to the next line and let's go grab another one of these. Camping hair, don't care. That's another great one. Copy, paste. Let's go grab another one. Life's more fun when you're camping. That Again, these are hilarious. Copy that. We'll put that in here. Let me just grab a couple more. Okay, so that should do it. We've got seven of them pasted in here. And literally all we do now is hit save. And it's going to drop all of these down into our list here. And now all we do is hit check trademarks. Now, if your page doesn't already show that they are checked down here, just refresh your page and then it will show that they are checked. Sometimes that happens. But now we can look at all of these phrases and instantly know if they are safe to use for print on demand t-shirts or not. So all of these actually happen to be safe to use and they are not protected by other people. But if you got any red X's, do not use those to upload on your print on demand shirts because your designs are likely going to get flagged for copyright infringement and we do not want that for our business. So as this turned out, all the ones that I want to use here, they are all free to use. This just saves you a ton of time and you know going into this, you have the peace of mind that you can be using them. So once you've gotten to this stage, there's literally just the designing and the uploading left. You are very far along here. So first off, congratulations for getting this far. Now we have our design ideas. And now I'm going to show you how to turn these into full fledged print on demand t-shirt designs without having graphic design experience. So when it comes to the actual t-shirt designs for print on demand, they are arguably the most important part here. Even if you find some really good low competition gaps and niches that people are not uploading to, if you have bad designs, people are simply not going to buy them. When I started out in print on demand, I still was not a graphic designer and I was creating things by hand. This took a lot of time and my designs were not very good. A lot of them were just text based and that was it. Over the years, I have learned that there are websites out there that have print on demand t-shirt templates that you can go in, you can customize them, you can change things, use all of their templates download that to your computer, and you can upload those to the print-on-demand websites. This will make your life so much easier in print-on-demand. It makes the design process very efficient, and it gives you professional templates, so you're not starting from scratch. So with that said, let me show you the tool that I personally use for this. This is the design tool that I have grown to use, and I have used many of them out there over the years. It's called placeit.net. Again, I'll put a link to it down in the description. This is another one that is a paid tool, but trust me, it is so worth it. Between Merch Informer and Placeit, place it. These are the only paid tools that you need for this entire business model. Now, as far as pricing goes for this one, pricing is about $9.99 per month. So it's the same as Merchant Former. Again, I've been using them forever. So I have a coupon code from them as well. I will put that down in the description. The reason I use place it is because everything on their website from the fonts to the graphics to the layouts is copyright free. As we were just talking about, the phrases cannot be protected by other people, but there's also such thing as the fonts or the graphics being owned and protected by other people. Some of these other design tools out there that I've used in the past are not 100% copyright free. So you might create a design, everything looks good, you upload it to a print on demand website and it gets flagged and taken down in the future and you don't know why, it could be because the font that you used is owned by someone else. This is just a nuance to this kind of business model and that's why I use Place it is because you don't have to worry about that. Everything on here is copyright free. The reason I think it is worth spending a minute to explain that is because I understand when you are starting a new business, you're not trying to pay other people money. You're trying to make money yourself. So I just wanted to make sure that I was transparent and properly justified what tools I pay for and why I recommend them to you if you are getting into this business. So with all that being said, let me log into Place it and I'll show you how to make these designs. Okay, so once you're logged into Place it, you have a bunch of different things that you can create here. Specifically, what we're looking for is designs, and then we're going to apparel and print. We're going to go to t-shirt designs. Now, this is going to show you all of their different t-shirt templates that you can use and customize. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see there are over 800 pages of different templates you can choose from, and each one of these has to have at least 20 designs on them. So there are a ton of designs. Now, all of these can be customized and you can even sort on the left side by newest, most popular, best selling. However, from experience here, what I would recommend for you to do is to just go straight up top and type in what your niche is. So I'm going to type in camping 
I'm going to hit search. And then this is going to bring up everything that they have on the niche of camping. Although we are not creating mockups right now, you can actually upload your design onto a model, which is pretty awesome. But what we want to do is come over to the left side, scroll down over here until you see t-shirt designs. Now these specifically, since we've just done the search for your niche and sort it by t-shirt designs, these are all going to be t-shirt design templates specific to camping that we can use that we know are all copyright free. So once you scroll through here, you can get an idea of all of these different camping templates and they can all be customized. The idea is that all of these different phrases that we want to use, you want to put each one of these on their own template. That way you have a bunch of unique designs. Now, kind of a rule of thumb here is whenever I'm going into one of these low competition gaps within a niche, like the women's camping shirts, I'm trying to create 20 to 40 different designs upload them into that kind of gap and then move on to the next one, whether that was beer camping or whatever one I wanted to go into next. The reason for this is because whenever a seller comes in and searches for that, basically any design that they're going to purchase there, whatever listing is likely going to be one of mine because it's low competition and I put 20 to 40 good designs in it. That's how all of this really works and that's a rinse and repeat process. So let's get started with the first one here. I'm just going to come back and I'm going to use camping hair, don't care. I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to pick one of these templates. I'm a sucker for these circle designs. I just really like them. They come out so easily, so good. And then once you click on it, you're basically now in the editor on place it. And basically all we need to know here is that this text corresponds to the text box over here. So whatever you change here is going to change this text box. You can move things around. You can make them bigger and smaller. And then you just hit the back button if you want to undo something you did. Or if you want to put it back to the original layout, you just hit the reset button right here. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to select this and I'm going to delete that and hit paste. And that actually didn't paste very well. So I'm just going to manually type this in camping hair. Don't care. And literally as you type this in, it's going to reformat it into this design. So all of the heavy lifting is done for you. Now what's also cool about these designs is they're already in the camping niche. So the graphic that's in the middle is already about camping. Now, if you wanted to change this graphic to something else, all you do is the graphic that's in the middle right here is actually editable on the left side. So you hit edit and you can search for anything else. So if we typed in camping, you can click any of these and it will sub that right into your design. You just click on it and it'll put that in the middle. And all of these graphics that come up, these are all copyright free. They're all commercially usable as well. So you don't have to worry about using them and then somebody flagging your design later. So literally just in a couple clicks, I've made this custom design. If you wanted to, you could literally leave this how we had it before and you can use this design right here. As long as you are changing something on the design and downloading it, it's totally yours to use. And then another important thing to know here is if you do want to change the font itself, not the text, but the actual font, whether that's the color of the font or what the actual font font is so it looks different. You just go to the corresponding box over here. You hit the drop down and you can literally just go through any of these fonts. All of them are going to be copyright free. You can even hit more fonts and then all of these fonts you can use totally copyright free. You don't have to worry about someone else owning it. And then the same goes for the color. You literally can just click here and you can change the color to anything you want. Okay, so now that you've got your design ready, there is one extremely important thing and place it makes it very easy. This background, this blue color, we actually do not want. So when you're creating a print on demand t-shirt design, you only want the design itself. You don't want this blue rectangle to be printed on that shirt as well. So not all tools will have this feature, but place it does have it. But what that is, is once you have your design ready, the very last thing you do is you go to background color and then you go all the way to the bottom corner. It's kind of hidden here and it's a checkerboard. This is the transparent background. Once you click that, the background blue color goes away. And although you can't really see our design, we know it's there because we already created it. This is the very last thing we're doing. So now once we upload this to a print on demand website, only this design will be printed on that shirt. And in the next step, you'll see what I mean by that. So this design is literally ready to go. All you have to do now is just hit download. Give this just one second to load here. It's going to process your design and then you can download it to your computer. But once it is ready, it will say click here to download. Just click that. And it's going to ask you what you want to name this design. So what I would name it is whatever text was on that shirt. So I should still have it copied. Let me just paste it right here. Camping hair, don't care. That's what I'm going to name this design. And I can save it right to my downloads. 
So this is our design right here saved on our computer. And as you can see, when you zoom in here, the quality of this design is actually really good. So when it gets printed on a shirt, you're going to have no issues with the resolution or having blurry images or anything. When it saves it off of Placeit, it's saved as a PNG file, which you'll see in the next step is very important. And the resolution is perfect for printing. So once you've gotten to this stage, you're literally almost done already. All that's left is really the logistics. This is just uploading to the print on demand websites, putting your title, your tags, your description, and you're really done. So again, congratulations if you've made it this far in this video. You are literally on the home stretch here. So without further ado, let me show you what's next. So this is the part of passive print on demand that I really enjoy. And this is something I'm excited to share with you. When you create the designs like this and you have them saved on your own computer, you can upload them to multiple print on demand websites where they can all get traffic and they can all get sales at the same time. So with that said, in a second, we'll switch back over to the computer and I'll show you exactly how to upload to these websites. But first, it's very important to know which websites to upload to. There are tons of different passive print on demand websites out there, but not all of them should be treated equally. I've been selling on many different platforms for many years now, and only a couple of them have really outshined the rest. Now, the reason that this is important is you don't wanna be wasting your time uploading to websites that are just not going to give you sales. Rather, I would focus on the ones that are really the big hitters here. And what those are currently are just three specific websites. So I'll put these up on the screen here so you can screenshot this or jot this down just so you have this for reference later. But the first website is called tpublic.com. The second website is called redbubble.com. And the third website is Amazon Merch On Demand. Now these three websites are all free to use. All you have to do is create an account with your email and literally they get tons of traffic. Just to give you some reference here, T Public gets about a million people to their website automatically, organically every single month. Those are just people coming in looking to buy shirts. Redbubble gets almost 10 million people per month. And then Amazon gets almost a billion people per month. So just by being on all three of these websites, you are not going to have to do any marketing. All you're going to have to do is upload your designs there and then sit back and let them do the rest. So with that said, let's get started on the first one here. This is T Public. When you come to T Public, it's basically just a marketplace. So if you were to type in camping t-shirt, you will see all of the different designs that are available. And when you click on this, it will show you what it looks like. Just like we saw on Amazon, this is basically just another version of that, but specifically for print on demand. So for us, let's go to the homepage and we're literally just going to hit create an account. And then once you get to this page, literally all you have to do is fill this out and then you're going to be ready to upload designs. So I'll fill this out with you just so we can go along step by step. And then you'll have this little button at the bottom that says, yes, I'd like to advertise my products in offsite marketing. I highly recommend just leaving that on. It's not going to cost you anything extra. It's totally free, but it allows T public to run additional ads on your listings to try to get more sales in. Remember you're splitting the profit with T public. So you get your profit. They also make their profit. So if your design is selling well, they're going to want to advertise more of it and just make more money. So by leaving this turned on, which it should be by default, you're just opening yourself up totally for free free to get more sales from their marketing efforts. Now, if you leave this on and you create your account and you decide later on for some reason that you want to turn this off, you're still able to turn it off later. I don't know why you would, but I just want to make sure that you know that that is an option. So once this is all set, just hit create my account and then quickly just go check your email in your inbox and verify your email. And then once you've done that, just go back to account and go to log in. And now we're just going to log in with our email and password. So just like that, you have a seller account on TeePublic. That's literally how easy this is. You don't have to pay. You don't have to have a business set up. You just need an email address to get started. And then you can literally just go to sell your art. And it allows you to do one of two things. You can just upload a single graphic that we just created. Or if you were on Placeit and you went through all of those sub niches that we picked out and you created all seven of those designs, you can upload them all at once just to make the process faster. I only have one that we've made here. So I'll hit single file upload. And then your first time around, it's going to ask you to create a storefront name. Now, importantly to know here is that back in the day, creating a storefront was important because people would find you through your storefront. Now on these print on demand websites, especially the three in this tutorial, Tutorial, the storefront is not very important. Rather, your designs are just going to show up individually on the marketplace. So people are going to find you from searching or from the advertising that these companies are doing for you. So people are rarely ever going to see your full storefront. So you can name this anything that you want here. It does not need to be about the specific niche that you are creating because this is just the first niche that we're going into. As you create more designs in all different niches, you can keep uploading them to this same storefront again, because it can be treated more as a general store. So I'm just going to call this GG 
Tees, Greg Gottfried Tees. Store name is available, perfect. Now take me to the uploader. So now we've got their upload page. This is literally where we need to upload a PNG file. As I was mentioning before, when you create your design on Placeit, you save it to your computer. It's already saved as a PNG with a transparent background, so we don't need to do anything extra. Just click on this little icon and we'll go select that file off of our computer and we'll upload it here. All right, just give this a second to upload. And here is our design right here. So remember how we had the transparent background? That's why we can't really tell what the design is, but we know from creating it that our whole design is there. But as you scroll down here, it allows us to put in our title, our description, our tags, and then it allows us to choose what products this is going to be available on, what colors, and I'll walk you through all of this real quick. Now, something that's important to note here that you might be wondering just to try to answer this, it says your image isn't large enough to support wall art options. And basically what that means is that the design that we created off of Placeit is not massive, so it can't be printed on a big wall art. We are just focusing on t-shirts or apparel. So it's just going to print about the size of a t-shirt, not the size of an entire wall tapestry or something. So you can disregard this message right here. We are not focused on wall art anyways. So as we scroll down here, the first thing we have is our title. Now, over the years of doing print on demand, I have tested many different title formats and what I have found to be the most efficient in regards to saving you the most time so that you can get a lot of these good designs uploaded and the most effective in regards to actually having you show up in the search results properly is a very simple formula that I use here. The first thing that I put in the titles is the actual phrase that is on the shirt. So this is going to be camping, hair, don't care. And then the second part of the title is going to be what is that low competition gap or that keyword that we want to show up when people are searching. So for us, that is camping, women. Now, something to know from experience for Tee Public is that you do not need to actually put t-shirt or hoodie or whatever the clothing item is at the end of the title here, because when you go to a listing on Tee Public, whatever style of apparel is selected, they are going to auto-populate into the end of your title. So if someone has a t-shirt selected, it will add t-shirt at the end here. So when you go over to Amazon and Redbubble, just be sure that you're actually adding in t-shirt at the end but T public, you don't need to do that. So that is how you do the titles. And then to do the description, just copy all of this. We will copy it, come down here and paste this. And then a couple modifications. So just say this with a capital T, this camping hair, don't care. And then put t-shirt is perfect for, and then leave what you had at the end, camping women. I'm just going to put a period there. This is going to give us the same ranking power by keeping what is on the shirt and who it is for and turning that quickly into a description. So that's literally it. That's all you have to do for title and description for all of these shirts that you make. So now a couple other logistics things we're going to put in our main tag and then our supporting tags, which are basically what else is relevant to this design. The first thing I would just put in your general overall niche. So although this is in the low competition gap of women's camping shirts, I'm going to put in camping. And the reason I wanna do that is because I want this platform to know that this is a camping shirt. I don't wanna miss out on any camping traffic. So let's just select that one and then come down here. And once you click in on here, it's going to open up all of these supporting tags that it thinks your shirt might be relevant to as well. So I'm going to hit nature. I'm going to hit hiking, adventure, travel, camp, campfire, hike, exploring. All of these are absolutely relevant to this design. So I'm going to select all of them. What's nice about Tee Public is it just gives you all of these ideas that you can quickly just select. Tee Public, I think has the best uploading interface of the three websites. That's why I wanna show you it here because all of these other things are also going to carry over to Merch by Amazon and Redbubble. You're doing the same process, just following their specific upload interface. So that is it. We literally just knocked out the title, the description and the tags. Now just a quick question, does this have any mature content? hit no here. It is going to be safe to list on their marketplace without any restrictions. I personally don't recommend creating anything that is really edgy or something that has profanity or something that's vulgar. I think that's just going to open you up to potential problems. So I would just stay on the safe side here and just create designs kind of like this. And then as you move along here, this is going to be what the actual products look like in your listing. So another important thing here is that we have a light colored design. This is white text and generally a light design. So we can't see that when it's on a light shirt. So I'm going to just change this color to a black. Now, all of a sudden you can see what that looks like. So as a rule of thumb, if you have a light color design, 
you don't want that to be available on light color shirts and the same thing for dark designs on dark shirts. Now what I've changed over here is just the default color. So when someone opens up the listing, what's the first color that they're going to see the design on? However, once someone's in your listing, remember in the beginning I showed you all of the different colors you could pick from? Well, that's all down here. So I could select all colors and then it would be available on all of these. But as we just talked about, it's a light design. I don't want that on light shirts. So I'm just going to hit dark colors and it's automatically going to take out all of the light designs that it may not look good on and just have the dark ones available. So all of these will look good with this design. Now, this is again, a really nice feature to T public, but when you are on the other websites, you'll just have to manually pick out what are those dark colors you want it available on. So now that we've got the colors figured out as to what it's going to be available on, a couple quick things here. So these are all different apparel items that people could possibly buy our design on. We've got a t-shirt, we've got a hoodie, we've got a tank top, crew neck, all the different types of shirts that people could buy this on. Now, as you are looking through here, just make sure that your design fits 100% in here and nothing is cut off. So I can tell just by looking at this, this is slightly cut off on the right. This doesn't happen every time, but I'm actually glad that it did so I can show you how to fix this. So all you have to do is come into scale and just make it a tiny bit smaller, just like that. And now your design is back, totally fits. And then just go through the others, make sure that you have no issues here. And yeah, we're perfect all the way through. So if that ever happens, it only takes two seconds to fix it and you're going to be all set. Now, the other thing while we are on this section right here is that we've selected that default color, which is the first one that people are going to see. However, if that default color is not available in every item that's here, like a baseball tee, this baseball tee is only offered in black and white, not fully black. So just select the one that you want to show up first. So all of these are selected. We are good to go. We've already selected the dark colors. And now we're coming down to the last section before we can actually publish this listing. So this section here is what other products do you want to be available for purchase beyond just apparel? There are stickers, phone cases, mugs, wall art, pillows. And this is something that I've learned a couple years ago and it is absolutely held true. By far the most sales are going to come from just t-shirts. Things like stickers and phone cases and mugs, they are not going to sell nearly as much as your apparel. And the reason that I wanna tell you that is because if you select a product like this, the design is not always going to fit perfectly. As you could see, we had to do a slight tweak on a hoodie and the other apparel items. Well, on all of these different items down here, you typically have to do quite heavy modifications to get it to fit and look perfect on here. So you're going to be spending a lot of time figuring out what fits good, what's going to be cut off, and ultimately you're not going to get many sales from this. So what I recommend to you, something that I personally do, is I literally come in here and I turn all of these off. I just want to focus on the t-shirts and I just want to focus on the apparel and I don't want to be spending a ton of time modifying and formatting all of these if these are not even going to make up the majority of the sales. So I recommend doing exactly what we've done here, setting it up this way and this just excludes all of these and should save you a lot of time. So once you've gotten to here, you literally just hit I have read and agree to the terms and conditions and then you hit publish. And literally just like that, if you've made it this far in this tutorial and you followed along, you are officially a print on demand seller. You have a live listing on TeePublic. Everything is exactly how we uploaded it here. As you can see what I was saying before, it auto populated t-shirt at the end here. We have our description here. This is the only place, what I was mentioning before, the only place someone could click and find your storefront. So if they clicked here, it would show all of your different designs you've uploaded, but it's such a small area. That's why I don't pay much attention to it. All of the dark colors that you've selected are all available here. And then people can switch the type of shirt or the different type of apparel that they want to purchase it on. Again, they can pick their size and everything here. They can literally add it to the cart, purchase it. And TeePublic is going to do the printing, the shipping, the customer service. We just get a split of the profit. Now, something else that's important to know here, and you may be wondering is that TeePublic sets all of the pricing for you. It's something that's really cool that they do. They run their own promotions. So they run sales on the shirts all for you. So you don't actually set the price on TeePublic. When it comes to Merch by Amazon and Redbubble, you get to pick how much you want to sell that shirt for. And essentially you get to pick how big your profit margin is. Generally, I would say that a good profit margin for a t-shirt is somewhere between $2 and $10. And that's the amount that comes to you every time you make a sale. Now, what's cool is that when someone purchases a hoodie, which is a more expensive item, your profit margin might go up to $15 or $20 on each sale. And then the last really important thing to know here while we are talking about the price and payments and all that is that the way you get paid from these websites as a print-on-demand seller is either through 
through PayPal or direct deposit. Merch by Amazon uses direct deposit or you can have them mail you a physical check. The other websites, they just use PayPal. Now, all of these websites are literally just going to pay you out every single month. So you don't have to do anything. Like I said, your paychecks are just going to come in whether you have internet connection or not. It's pretty awesome. But with that being said, what we just did here is just a rinse and repeat process for the other websites. So I would take this design that we've just created and I would take this title, this description, the tags, and I would go upload that to Redbubble. And then I would go upload that to Amazon Merch On Demand. That would be our first design. We have three listings from it. And then I would go back and create the other designs and see how many of these I can start getting uploaded to those big print on demand websites. So guys, no matter where you live in the world, you can start print on demand. You do not need to live in a certain country or region to do this business model. And hopefully this tutorial has been really helpful in showing you how to do it from start to finish. Again, the links to these specific tools and the coupon codes are down in the description. And all I ask is if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments. All right, guys, that is it for this one. I will see you all in the next video.